In this lesson, you learn how to copy steelwork between levels and also how to edit beam systems. Revit elements can be copied and pasted between levels, which is a quick way of creating framing and floor planes for other levels. You can edit a structural beam system by selecting the beam system and either changing the layout rules, spacing and beam type from the properties palette, or changing the boundary by clicking Edit Boundary on the context ribbon. Structural beam systems are parametric and if the primary supports or boundary change, the beam system will update. Additionally, each beam is pinned into the system. You can unpin the beams to move or change the member whilst leaving the remaining beams pinned. However, the beam system can be removed just to leave the beams. This can be described as exploding the system into single elements. Go ahead and open up project A. The project opens in the 3D view. We'll begin by opening up the 0 2 second floor plane. In the project browser, under Structural Plans, double click on 0 2 second. We'll begin here by zooming up on the top left hand corner of our plane. And of course here we can see that we have a beam system. If I hover over the edge of this beam here, you can see that I've been able to highlight the beam system. The tab key will enable you to cycle between the various different elements. So by pressing the tab key here, you can see that I'm then cycling between the selection elements. Once the beam system is pre-highlighted, we can just simply left click to select the beam system. And you'll notice in the properties palette, we can then make changes and edits to our beam system. In our example here, you can see that this beam system is good, but this beam system here, uh, the secondary beams aren't actually parallel to these beams here. So we're going to change that. So again here, I'm just going to hover over the edge and I'm going to select this beam system. On the context ribbon, in this example, I'm going to remove the beam system. So this will explode the beam system into separate beam elements. So you can now see that we have separate beams rather than a beam system. We'll begin by aligning these beams. So I'm going to select this beam here and on the context ribbon, we'll go ahead and select the align command. I'll pick the center line of this beam here and then the center line of this beam here. And of course, then you'll see that that becomes aligned and I'll do the same here. Notice here that Revit's telling us that it can't keep the elements joined. The reason for that was that the beam was originally connected to the wall and now it's of course going to connect into this primary section here. So in this case, I'll unjoin the element. I'll press modify to leave the align command. I'll select my beam and I'm just going to use the solid blue grip here to drag the framing component back to the primary member. OK, and we'll do a very similar thing with this beam system here. So once again, I'll select the beam system on the context ribbon. I'll remove the beam system. I'll use the align tool. I'll pick the center line of this beam here. And of course, the center line of this beam here. And that's now aligned. OK, so we're now ready to copy the steelwork from this level up to the third floor. To do this, we'll select the 3D view. And here I'm going to now press modify to leave the align command. And I'm going to use a selection set here to select all of the steelwork on the second floor. Now, of course, using this selection method, like I've done here, you will notice that I've also got the floor slab selected. On the context ribbon, I can click the filter tool. And here I'll remove floors from the selection set. And you can now see that I've got structural beam systems and all of my structural framing selected. We'll select OK to the filter option. On the context ribbon, I'll select copy to clipboard. And then we'll go to paste. And here we'll use aligned to selected levels. In this example, we're going to paste this to 03 third floor. OK, so you can now see the structural framing has been pasted to the third floor. Of course, it doesn't actually want to reside on the third floor. Remember that our third floor is representing the structural slab level. So our steelwork wants to go below the slab. In order to do this, we'll need to create another reference plane and then host the steelwork on that reference plane. To do this, in the project browser, we'll open up the south elevation. You'll notice here that we've got a reference plane that's controlled in the steelwork on the second floor. 
So I'm just going to simply select this. We'll go to copy and we'll copy that reference plane between these two levels. Now that the reference plane is still selected here, I'll change the name. So this is going to be 03 hyphen third. We can now go back to the 3D view. I'll select all of my steel work that's now on the third floor and we'll then make sure that that's then going to use that new reference plane as the work plane. So I've selected all the steel work and of course here we can't do this in one go. We're going to need to use the filter option again. So I'll select filter and I'm going to begin here by selecting just the primary framing. So we'll select the primary still like this and on the context ribbon we'll use edit work plane. In the work plane dialog box we'll now change our selection and we'll select reference plane 03 third. Okay, you can now see all of our primary still has changed. We'll do a very similar thing for the beam systems. So we'll make a selection set of all of our steel work on the third floor. We'll select the filter option. And in this case here, we'll just make sure that we say check none. And here, we just want the structural beam systems. Again, on the context ribbon, I'll select edit work plane. And again here, we'll select reference plane 03 third. And of course now you can see all of the steel work is now sitting at the correct level. We've got one anomaly over here. You can see that this beam uh, wasn't set to a primary member. In fact, the structural usage here, you can see is set to other. So while we're here, we'll change this to primary. And we'll also go to the edit work plane tool on the context ribbon. And again, make sure that this is going to be referencing the reference plane 03 third. And also here you can see some of these secondary beams are not at the right level. So again, we can make a selection set of those and of course use edit work plane. And here again, we'll select reference plane 03 third. And you can now see all the steel work is at the correct level. Finally here, we'll copy our floor slab from the second floor to the third floor. So we'll select this slab here. Again on the context ribbon, we'll use copy to clipboard. And here we'll paste aligned to selected levels and paste this up to the 03 third floor. Of course, we can always edit that floor slab and change the void openings and so on. And we'll do that in a later exercise. So you can see here that we can edit those beam systems and we can then simply use copy to clipboard and then paste aligned to selected level to very quickly copy that still from one level to another. Of course, if the steelwork needs to change its layout or its section size, then of course we can edit the beam systems as required. Okay, let's make sure that we save our project. And that concludes this lesson.